Hey guys, it's Tommy here and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Park Spotlight. Today's park is called Universal Land. This was uploaded to the PS Workshop by Anakin83 uh, and uh, I believe he is a German creator um, because the description is in German but I have translated it using Google roughly so what it does translate to in English is a new amusement park with great attractions in four themed areas. Star Wars, Scary, Jurassic Park and the brand new Aztec area, park number three. So uh, yeah, really looking forward to this. Does look to, it does seem to have some very uh, very good attractions, very good signage from the look at, from looking at the outset of it. Um, and don't forget, as always, if you do you know if you do want me to have a look at your park or do a spotlight on anything you've made on the PS Workshop, then uh, just leave me a comment down below uh, and subscribe for more of these spotlights coming up on the channel. So uh, yeah, let's get to, let's get straight into the spotlight. Right, as always, we start in the spawn tunnel and we shall work our way, uh, work our way into the park. Nice little, uh, nice little entrance just here. We have two, uh, we have two coaches on the side. Very nice, it's like a small, uh, small coach park. Uh, I believe that says new opening or now open. Referring to the Aztec area, maybe? Uh, I apologise, I don't speak German, or I, I speak very little German and uh, struggle with uh, reading it. So if I, do, if I do miss anything on signs that are in German, then I do apologise. Uh, we have a nice little ticket booth uh, area here. Really like that. Really like that with the animatronics in here. You know, rather than putting like a shop so that guests come into it, just having those windows there just works really well. I like that. I like the way that's been done. The screens above as well look brilliant. They're angled just at the right, you know, just at the right angle. Um, and it's even got the brackets on the wall as well. The lights coming down from the top. Everything, the, the detail in here and the blinds. How good are those blinds there? That is, that is fantastic work really really like that you know it is i know i know some of you may watch my uh, my spotlights and think i probably spent a bit too too long looking at details but you know you, you gotta you gotta think to to build all of that and then to think oh you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna build some blinds there in that window and it it, it just look it works so well i've never seen them done before i think that's a really nice touch um and i also like the, the, these beams here are these yeah, so they've manually been, been placed in as well. So, you know, this isn't this isn't a, uh, a wall that you get in the game. It's uh, it's just a glass window, and he's built wooden beams in as well. That honestly, that ticket that ticket booth already is brilliant. And then you just look at the rest of the entrance here. The work with beams is superb. It really is. Um, oh, it's even got turnstiles. Look. What the turns are they just yeah they're just metal fences. Honestly, that entrance is it, it's not the biggest entrance I've seen, but that is one of the best entrances and the most realistic entrance I've seen. He's got all the turnstiles down here a lot. They're the candy canes, aren't they? He's got candy canes in there, screens. He's got the barriers, uh, signs and entrance. Honestly, I I love that. I think the entrance is brilliant. And then over here. Uh, is that Fr Frizit Park? I think that means amusement park. I think I may be wrong. Um, and I know Discovery Land is one of his other parks that he um, he suggested I look at. So I may be doing that in a couple of uh, in a couple of weeks' time. Um, so they must be his other creations there. Um, I've not seen anything in the description for any blueprints that is used, so I don't. I'm assuming everything in here is custom built by him, in which case, fantastic work, it really is. Um, so yeah, I mean, absolutely love that. I could I could admire that for even longer, but I don't think I've got time to really. Uh, Schleese Fascia, what, uh, are these like lockers? What, what are these? Car yeah, cargo crates. So are they, are they like lockers then? Around the back of the, uh, around the back of there, we have a statue. 
the planters are great as well. I think the planters sit really well. What we got over here? A nice little pizza place. Now, on, honestly, so far, if the rest of the park is like this, this is going to be such a good park to look at. The the buildings are all so well, uh, so well placed, and these canopies work really well. I like the fact that the kind of there's different fences and different seating areas for the different restaurants. Um, a lot of people don't tend to split them up that much. They tend to just kind of bunch a few shops together. It doesn't matter, and, and I do it myself. I'm, you know, I'm not saying, I'm not saying, not saying I, I don't do that. I more than happily admit that I do that. Um, but the, the fact it's taking the time to spend, you know, and put right, this building is going to be pizza pen, and this is going to be the design for it. I just think it's brilliant that he's put that in. Uh, the menu signs there. Got a burrito, Monsieur Fritz. Toilet building. It's built with globe, a bit like the Universal logo. Nice little, uh, it's sat on a fountain as well. Nice little uh, feature. Cosmic Cow. Oh, he's got all the shops out the front here, and they're all really nicely placed. I, I do really appreciate that. Um, and this is a lovely little like street to walk down as well going up to uh, going up to the ferris wheel uh, you know I, I say it all the time if you're going to put a ferris wheel in the park make it a feature either make it a feature like this or hide it um it's very hard to hide but you can do it but the fact he's made it a feature and put universal land on it just looks you know it, it stands out really well and looks brilliant so um so yeah really uh, really excited to see uh, to see the rest of this part if uh, if there's plenty more of this to come starting to get a bit crazy a bit busy now with the crowds right star wars in jurassic park don't be saying anything over here there just some more shops the the range of buildings as well is all joined onto each other is brilliant there's like there's no detail that's been left you know everything from like from little balconies up here and planters and stuff it all just looks brilliant um, right, but as always, you know by now, if you've watched enough of these, I will go left on my tour. Uh, just a memento. We have a pinata. We have some astronaut helmets. And a claw machine. Uh, we shall keep going down here. They've just got plenty of shops on, e on either side. Music store. Ooh. Trombone. <laughs> I think that's a trombone anyway. Where's he going? Oh, he's got a staff room. Staff room's hidden in here. There's one staff room. Um, the Walking Dead coming soon. Ooh. Memorial Hot. Wow. Oh, if he makes a Walking Dead, if he makes a Walking Dead ride, that will be amazing. I've not seen the I've not seen the Walking Dead been done yet in Planet Coaster, so that is fantastic. Don't open. Oh, <laughs> I thought I thought there was gonna be a jump scare. There's a blood coming down there. Oh, I, I really I really hope he builds a Walking Dead ride. That will that would honestly be brilliant. But yeah, I, I just I just rate the detail. There's a crashed helicopter there. Look, I I just I, I rate. That you know, putting that in there, and he's he's done what um, it's done. People you know tend to try and do in these movie parks and put these like facades on, so they put like supports on and just build the front of the building basically. And it just works really well for for a studios park, definitely. Uh, Sky Watcher. Let's go through here. Oh, it's one of the observation towers. Tell you what, let's. Uh, Quickly try and hop in it while it's uh, while it's up so high, just to get a good view. I think I can see the Star Wars area down there. Won't be giving away any spoilers though. Yeah, really, uh, really nice view of the park up there. Definitely, you see it all there. Uh, so we'll go back down to the entrance. Right, uh, tiki cheeky. Right, what's in here? Tokyo Drifter. 
<laughs> oh, I love that. What a great, what a great way to design that flat ride. I, I always say these flat rides are probably one of the best ones to to theme because you you know you could put anything around them um, and make them you know and put them to any style. And he's done such a good job there with the uh, with the cars as well. The flooring looks good. And are these shutters like giant screens? Yeah, they are. They're giant like projection screens to put down shutters. Uh, that, that just looks brilliant. It really does. The, the black walls, the lights there, the starry roof at night time. Look at that. It's a disco. Oh, that, that's that's brilliant. You've got you've got to rate that for, for a flat ride, definitely. Yeah, love that. Only thing I would say is you can still see a bit of the grass down here. And I don't know what terrains you've got available to you here. So you've not. So if you start, if you do start another one, I would suggest getting putting the uh, uh, tarmac or the asphalt terrain on, just so you could like spray that and make it a bit darker. Uh, I mean, to be fair, the rock works quite well. It just kind of hides that green, really. Um, yeah, I'm hoping I'm not changing too much out here. Um, yeah, it just hides that bit of green, really. And, uh, and kind of blends it in a bit more, but um, but no, yeah, no, I absolutely love that. I think that flat ride's brilliant. I, I really, I really do. Um, so we're going down here, sushi, a sushi, little sushi restaurant. Again, the restaurants are so well de themed and designed. Look, the lighting and everything just matches. So good. Right, Star Wars. Um, everyone seems to be going in on the right and coming out on the left. That, that's quite interesting. Star Wars Rogue One. <laughs> what? That's a good little way to decorate an ATM. Got the mascot saying hello to everyone. Look at this. This is brilliant. Skyfighter. Oh, again, the theming for this flat rides. So good. I just think that fits the Star Wars idea really well. But yeah, absolutely quality there. Go back out here. Uh, is that new something? New something in 21? Like a new ride in 2021? Uh, Jedi Order the Sith. Some more. Got some shops in here, have we? Some restaurants. So, I think we need to go through here, do we? Oh, wow. This is cool. Whoa, what a view. This is... What a huge queue line this is. This is ridiculous. <laughs> this is honestly so in depth. I mean, you know, as I say, I've not seen anything to say that he's used anyone's blueprints off the uh, off the PS Store. So you know, could possibly well made you know well have uh, made this on his own. Um, I've seen a few Millennium Falcons on the, on the workshop. If he has made it himself, brilliant, fantastic, and astounding work because that just looks quite, you know that looks um, so lifelike. Um, if he has used a blueprint, then that's absolutely fine. Uh, I would just say probably put a sign in to say who, who's you've used, just to give them credit. But even still, you know, th this whole room is uh, is brilliant. I love it. You've used that so well, and and these little like windows looking out just look just look brilliant from the queue line. I really do like that. Uh, go through here. Right, we're at the station, which is a uh, it's a launched coaster called Rogue One. Eight point four four excitement. Jesus. Wow. There we go. There's the rest of the stats if you're interested. Um, but yeah, wow. We will go on Rogue One. I'm really looking forward to this. This looks like it could be quite interesting. Alright, are we ready to go? 
Here we go. Right, Rogue One. Let's go. I rate that. I, uh, I I didn't re I didn't realize that was the layout. So that obviously has gone for the classic launch um, launch layout with the you know with, with, with the huge lift up here. Um, this is very similar in the UK to Stealth at Thought Park, but I love the fact he's themed it to Star Wars. It's not just a random track in the middle of nowhere. He has actually spent time theming it um, and putting in the different pieces. Again, I don't know if these are from the workshop. Um, I have seen some of these or similar designs on the workshop, so they could well be. Um, but yeah, really nicely done. And the terrain work as well. The terrain looks brilliant for the uh, for this you know for the Star Wars theme as well. Uh, just want to look at this at night time. See that looks really good, lit up green and red. Could be nice to have a bit of lighting over this way as well. Um, there's a few uh, these movie spotlight lights, but um, yeah, really uh, really nicely. Uh, built in there the the terrain as i say is is brilliant I, I do think that fits really well so yeah really really happy and really impressed by that star wars area well yeah, star wars um i don't think there is i think that's the execute of rogue one so i think that's the star wars area so we will go and carry on Nice little information building. Some nice music going off around here. Is that the Skywatcher? We've got a paddle. You've got the paddle boat. He's put a shop on the boat. That's that's a great idea. Oh, I wonder if anyone comes on here. Is it? Has it actually had any guests? I want to. I want to see if it's got. If that shop's had any guests or not. Oh, I can't tell at the minute, but yeah, if guests if guests go onto that boat, it's obviously built the path over there. It's obviously built the path over, so yeah, I I really hope they do because that is a great way to get the guests onto there. I love how he's done that. Uh, a Miller's House restaurant, very nice, a very a very fancy looking restaurant with the chairs there. Uh, and then we get to a Jurassic Park. Now I've seen a couple of Jurassic Park areas on this game on the PS Workshop, so we'll see how this one compares. Velociraptor. Go through here. Nice. Uh, so this is a nicely. This is a theme flat ride, but this looks exactly like the. Um, the Velociraptor cage from uh, Jurassic World. The 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 sea. I mean, the one with Chris Pratt in that is Jurassic World, isn't it? It's not Jurassic Park. Um, this is exactly like the scene where he's uh, where he's in the enclosure. So I I do uh, I do think that looks really good. That's very impressive. Oh, and the alarm's going off. The ride's starting. And then you got the lights on. Just have a look at. Just want to look at the whole park look so you can see there is, there is a there's a fair bit of lighting for the different areas um, there's a lot of green in this Jurassic area as well so uh, we will go in and have a look at that and we'll go back to daytime I don't think there's uh, I don't think there's enough to look at at night uh, on this one so we'll keep going around some uh, nice little shop for the staff room what have we got through here Oh, that's just the exit to Velociraptor. There's a there's a tree in the way there. Though. You gotta move that tree. <laughs> um, T Rex. That's uh, an off-road vehicle. Wow. 
You see, I, I have seen bubble dinosaurs, so I don't know if that's a blueprint or not. But I like the idea that you've put the car in its mouth. I think that, I think that, that, that works really well. Uh, T-Rex. So we'll go onto here. This this little roof here, that's a very uh, very imaginative way of putting the Q line on. And what what are these that you've used down here? It's just cylinders. Wow. There, there's a lot of pieces in this part that are that have been used, and I've never seen people use things like this before. Like like those cylinders as fences. Just you know, it, just thinking outside the box. This station build is brilliant using the temple blocks there and the glass windows they just you know it's just a really nice uh, really nice idea there this is a wing coaster by the looks of it really excited for that uh, Falco so I I'm assuming this should have been T-Rex should it not so maybe this this could have been a blueprint off the workshop I don't know um, but yeah this is Falco there's the stats and we shall hop in and see what this one's like. As I say, I am a big fan of uh, big fan of wing coasters, so hopefully this is a uh, this is a good one. Just gonna hurry up and go. Where are we going? There we go. Uh, very good, very good uh, wing coaster. That I would say some of the inversions up here are a little bit tight for for a wing coaster, like this one. Um, I didn't see what the other stats were. I mean, the G forces aren't actually that bad, in all fairness. Um, I did, I did think there was a little bit of tight, but tight turning. Um, so there's a little bit there, but it's not actually uh it's not actually that bad i think that is probably the highest bit for g-force is it goes straight to flat there but other than that i like the use of the temple pieces i think that works really well with the jurassic park theme um so i think that that looks you know that, that looks really well the fencing on the outside looks good and as i say the way you've used the temple blocks and the glass here for the station and put a green tint on the glass as well um i think looks, i think that looks fantastic i really do so uh yeah, and then obviously you've got the shops around it in the same temple design, which you know having buildings like that to match it just it, it just kind of brings the whole theme together. So uh, yeah, ni nice nice work on that. We'll go through and down here. Right, so we've not been down this bit, have we? Because we got to Tokyo Drifter before and went left. Did we? No, no, we haven't down here. That's the Walking Dead. So we'll get down to this bit, and we get to the Ferris wheel. And then down here we have Aztec and Gista Villa. Another restaurant. Um, right. Uh, let's go to uh, let's go to Gista Villa. Zero zero hour. Hmm. Okay. Let's um let's try that. Let's see what what does the zero zero hour do? I don't know if there's a show or anything that links to. Never mind. We'll uh, we'll we'll see, we'll see later on anyway. Let's uh if, if, but if this is the horror area, which I'm assuming it is, we will uh, we'll go over here at night. So I do like the um, 
I do like the lighting over here. This looks, this works well at night. This area probably more than any. Toilets. Creepy little house on the hill with lightning. Nice. Midnight. So there's a sign saying midnight. Okay, this is a very creepy house. Although the queue, the queue has been worked brilliantly for this. Very well designed. Oh, create, created by Anakin83, there we go. Wow, this is really good. This, yeah, really, really impressed with this. There's, um, so it's a dark ride. Huntsman 2. <laughs> There's the stats. If, I mean, it's a dark ride, so I don't know why you bothered about stats. Um, but yeah, we will uh, we'll hop on. And uh, away we go. Oh no, it's not that one. Where's the, where's the next car? Where's the car at the front? There we go, this one. Right. Let's speed up, let's get people in. Come on. Right. Let's go. There we go. What? That's a brilliant. That is a brilliant, brilliant haunted house or horror house, whatever you want to call that. That you know, it's not overdone, but everything is themed really well inside there. The house itself looks fantastic for a start, and then you've got this sort of like show building at the back. So, which I I always I always rate that the the bit you can see has got all the effort in, and then there's a show building, which looks you know which looks relatively plain. But that's what a real park would have, and that that you know that's why I rate it is because it looks like a real park, and that's where the main bit of the ride is. So all these rooms, you know, work really well. And then as you come uh, outside, you've got this graveyard here, and the smoke and the lighting out here just look brilliant. Such a good use of um, of the spooky features here. Yeah, I uh, I really do think that's a great ride. That is. Everything about it just works, and it's all hidden behind a wall. And then, as soon as you come out, you just come out the exit, out the front, and that's it. And it's all hidden behind there. That, honestly, that is that is such a good ride. Massive, uh, massive fan of that. And there's a, <laughs> there's a first aid there's a first aid room randomly at the end here. I love that. Of all the things to put down there, first aid room, just in case you've had like a heart attack from the shock of that ride. Um, we had yeah, the lighting and the trees around here just work really well, and the fencing. Um, so we'll go back along this path. And we go to the Aztec area. Which is the new area, apparently. Saraton. What's this? Is this the... Ooh, it's a top spin. Again, though, so a top spin for me is always, or is it a Gears for Fears? It's one of the two, isn't it? Um, a top spin for me is always, 
you know you have to theme it really well and it's it can be easily themed to look brilliant and this is this is a perfect example building it onto the wall here um as he has done building it in there and then having the scenery around it it just is you know is, is fantastic i absolutely love how he's built that in and it's in, you know it's integrated with the waterfall with the effects the planting i to me that that just looks brilliant i'm going to flip back to daytime just so you can sit in the day um but yeah really really am a fan of that the whole theme around there with the rocks and the trees look, looks great as well um so that's that one what do we have over here some screens and a hot dog squad that's a little food area um and then oh anubis Five, 45 minute wait <laughs> I like that. I've I've not seen many uh, key wait times in parks yet. Thirty minutes, twenty minutes, all the way around here. Again, the the, the queue line there. Look how well themed is that with the waterfall, the water going all the way underneath here, all the rocks. It is it's so well themed, so well put together, and it's even got the coaster coming over the top there. So yeah, really really nice job. And the building, and the coaster building itself. Only thing I'd say is probably change this floor here. So just go on to, uh, I think it's that queue you've used, isn't it? Um, oh no, my bad. He has already done that. He has, ignore me, I'm just an idiot. <laughs> yeah, re even the building. Right, let's have a, um, let's have a look at Anubis. So it is a uh, suspended looping coaster. There's the stats, very close to green across the board. So we'll give him that. There's the rest of the stats if you are interested. Uh, and other than that, we'll just speed up time to get the train in there. And we will hop on ourselves and see what Anubis has to offer. Let's go. Very nice, uh, very nice layout. That I, I like. I like how it kind of goes in and out of the terrain. It has. Uh, there's a lot kind of going off. It's not just kind of all above ground and doing its own thing. It is a little bit fast on that first bit. Um, I don't know. Whether there's a way to maybe just lower the drop. It doesn't need to be as steep, maybe. But other than that, I think it. I think that works perfectly. To be fair, the um, you know, as I say, I, I like the fact it interacts with everything. You know, if you follow this round. You go over the paths, you go next to the top spin, you go, you know, through the terrain here. They, they, there's so much going off with it. Um, and, the, and this little temple face there. <laughs> Let's just have a look at him at night. There we are, look. So that's that, that's that area at night. Really, uh, really good. No, I, I do like that as a, uh, I do rate that as a, as a theme. I'm just, just like here, look. The, these are the pieces of the scene. I know I've just jumped back to the top spin here. 
but the pieces of scenery that he's got at the side here, just the you know the attention to detail is crazy. Um, so yeah, there's the exit path. I'm back out here. We have another flat ride called Hades. There we are. That's that's really good. The statue on here is really good. I like the statue. That's nicely uh, nicely designed. That is. And look how I mean that is a very photogenic um, look at look at that for a shot. If I let me just get rid of the hub there. Look at that for a shot there. The coaster in the background and and that swinging around. That looks fantastic. You can tell he's put a lot of time and effort into that. I imagine the flat ride was built in first and he maybe designed everything else around it because that is the way it kind of comes off. If not, he's got very lucky with that placement. Um, yeah, really, really well designed here. And again, you know, the theming for... The, you know, there's the queue for Anubis, but the theming all follows on from the rest of the areas. So yeah, he's really, really nicely designed Aztec area, that is. Really nice. Um, I think that is about it if I am not mistaken um, because that's the Star Wars that's Jurassic Park I've seen all that I've seen all that yeah that is uh, that is it what a brilliant park the attention to detail on that is fantastic um, as I say you know there's some creations in there like like the Millennium Falcon you've got to take your hats off to in, for creating stuff like that um, Again, you know, if, if they are blueprints, then that, that's absolutely fine. I would just say put a sign in if they are, but if not, then absolutely brilliant job. Um, but you know, the layout of the park itself is um, is superb. I, I mean, my, one of my favourite bits is the, is the entrance here. This whole entrance looks fantastic. And in terms of my, my favourite ride, um, I, I would say the uh, this area, the 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 horror house or the haunted house, um, is probably my favourite ride. Just because of how well and how effective that is, especially at night time, um, like that, it just you know it does such a good job. So uh, yeah, really really well done. If you uh, if you did enjoy that, please leave a like and subscribe if you are new. I will leave the details for this park um, all just down in the description. So yeah, feel free to go and check it out on the PS Workshop. And yeah, other than that, I shall see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.